Cyclone Rita is intensifying substantially this afternoon in Vanuatu. Now with winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 973 millibars as of 3 o'clock UTC, November 25th. The CDPS rating is unavailable for this storm as it is forecast to not make landfall within the five day period as the storm is forecast to dissipate before it reaches the Vanuatu Islands. Right now, the storm is located at 12.0 degrees south, 169.7 degrees east. The storm is located only 426 miles away from Port Villa, the numbers are decreasing, 319 miles from Luganville, 649 from Nadi, and 761 from Nomiya. These miles are decreasing as the storm is pushing towards the south. This is the latest forecast track that we have produced. We are calling for a Category 3 peak with winds of 120 miles per hour in 24 hours. However, we do also forecast a rapid weakening after that as the storm approaches the islands as conditions are forecast to become significantly more unfavorable for the storm to intensify and survive for much longer for the after the 24 hour period. This is how sea surface temperatures have been looking under the storm, 29, 30 degrees, pushing 37 degrees Celsius in some spots. They've been pretty good for the storm, really up from when it formed up until now, but it's just pushing into that 30 degrees Celsius threshold, and sea surface temperatures really drop off a cliff once the storm really pushes into Vanuatu, and those sea surface temperatures, along with other factors, increasing wind shear, are going to be unfavorable for more intensification for this storm. Chance of tropical storm force winds at locations are pretty low today. Only 10% chance at Sola, 20% at Luganville, 25% at Port Villa, and immediately 1% at Lenaco. This is what the models have been saying for the storm. They really haven't played catch up on its significant intensification phase recently. The wind shear is forecast to rise as it approaches Vanuatu. Sea surface temperatures are, of course, going to drop and relative humidity is going to remain the same for around 24 hours from now. This is why we think more vegetation is on the way. And then it will begin to decrease slightly as the storm enters a more unstable environment. This is how the storm has been looking in the past few hours. There was a little bit of an eye up here with waning cloud tops, and this is what has been supportive of static values, even supporting as high as category two. This is likely high, and we've gone with 90 miles per hour for intensity. The storm has been looking pretty good in the past few hours, but it's been looking pretty... The clouds have been waiting, I should be saying, in the past few hours, leading to more slower weakening. And so for now, we'll have another update on the storm in the next few days as it pushes towards Vanuatu.